They eight, they eight, they eight. And we ain't eight. <laughs> uh, that was, I, I just came with that. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, we getting a little spacey in the head, but it's all good. A lot of clarity going on. Yeah. Um, it's become spiritual. Yeah. It's, it's definitely become beautiful. And at the same time, uh, a lot of, it's been intense. Monday and Tuesday was pretty intense. You were there, Tony, you saw the, uh, them refusing the bathroom. Also, we shut down the meeting on Tuesday. We held court in the streets. We took over um, Valencia 17th. But today is, is, a, is a, it's been quiet. They finally just came out just now. The captain talked to Max. And I'm gonna find out what happened literally just now. But it's been a quiet day. I think uh, my, I don't, they don't want us to go to jail because it's gonna be hell. Yeah. So I think they did their research on who they messing with, you know. So we're gonna take it to the full extent and uh, power to the people, baby. I spoke spoke to uh, somebody named Mr. Mr. Henderson who called me from the mayor's office. His uh, what I what, what I gathered from him, he said that the mayor is monitoring the situation um, and they're taking these calls. And response from the community very seriously. What is your response to Mayor Lee and that that response? Well, monitoring monitor, monitoring the situation must be him offering ambulance help. Like you know, they want to offer ambulance help, but they want to cut off the power for us to use in this public space. You know, 24/7 the, the uh, police department that we should be allowed to use outlets, which they shut off. So they want our phones not to work, so we can't call 911. So they could be the superheroes. We already know what's going on, Ed Lee. You know, um, come out here. You know, we don't we don't have to have a sit down nowhere. We're getting tired of this. You know, we you know you can we can we can take this to a whole nother level if you want. You know, and we're going to if you don't talk to the people. We want you to come out here and just come with your bodyguards. We don't care. You could be afraid. We're not. This is a peaceful protest. There ain't been one sign. One sign of violence at all. There's no anger. We're here trying to show some love with the community and show love for justice and the families that you know that that are going through it right now. So, and Lee, I don't care what you're saying to the media. We do not care what you say to the media at all. You need to come to us face to face and talk to us right now and figure out how we gonna do something about this situation and these issues in San Francisco, period. You need to talk to us face to face. We've been on your helmet for way too long. We've been trying to talk to you and we don't want no sit down behind closed doors. You're gonna have to talk to everybody because the media wants to hear it too. It's nationwide now, Ed Lee. Everything, everything is exposed and it's gonna get worse. So you need to come talk to us. Yeah, could you just touch on one other thing? I know you guys have been out here for about eight days now. Uh, is there anything that you've learned uh, about about yourself on a spiritual level or a spiritual tip that you didn't know before? Some different ways that you're looking at this from deep inside yourself. Is there some other? You yeah. Know, you can maybe talk about that a little bit. I think this it's, it's been uh, this is definitely something that I'll never forget in my whole life. You know, like. The last nine months of my life, pretty much since the Ed Lee incident in Max's diner, my life has kind of been, you know, in the public eye or whatnot more and more, especially in my city. So this is, you know, the whole transition to this, to, I don't even want to say activism, just, you know, just community work is just changed everything for me. So this is not the icing on the cake somewhat, but it's it definitely helps me understand my purpose out here. You know, I've had time to myself. When I have time to myself in my tent, on in front of a police station, smoking weed, and I am not worried about resting my head because I have 20 soldiers and warriors out here that will let me know what's going on, wake me up and protect me. That's something special. And that's what made me go through that, like you said, a spiritual type of awakening to understand that we're on a greater path right here, brother. You know, people are showing their love and people, people are putting, not just us five, people are putting their lives on the line out here. They're jeopardizing their freedom as well. And that says a lot in 2016, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah, that, that's part of this whole spiritual thing is this love, man. Okay, brother man, day eight. We love you. We represent Filipino community on our side, Core Magazine, uh, and the I Hotel too. We all yes. love you, and uh, you know we, we fully, a thousand and one percent support what you all doing. Much here. love, always, man. You know, power to the people. Much love to my Pinoys and all my fam out there. We're doing it. We ain't gonna stop. We're doing this for y'all and the youngsters.